Good morning, professionals you trust. My name is Leslie McFadden with Leslie McFadden Real Estate, and I have the honor of introducing our feature presenter for the week, Tanya McLaughlin with American Family Insurance. We had her answer three questions um, so that we can get to know her just a little bit better, and I'll go ahead and read those to you. The first question is, what led you to the industry that you're in? She says, simply put, education. I don't sell insurance. That would mean I pitched the same product to everyone that I meet with. I became highly skilled in my field because I put effort into becoming educated over 13 years, and I can pass that education along to my customer. I educate my customers about the insurance options relative to them so that they make good decisions about managing their risk. The second question we asked her was, what are the top two value adds that you're able to provide? Her answer is advice and advocacy. Most insurance companies are exclusively online or 1-800 numbers that connect you with a pool of unlicensed representatives. You cannot follow up with the same person if you were to connect with the company again. We provide licensed advice from the same team of local insurance professionals every time. Whether your claim is with us or another company, we're still there beside you. We can help you navigate insurance and go to bat for you when the process doesn't go your way. I love that answer. Um, the third question that we asked her is if you've lived in multiple states, and she says, nope, just Washington State. I wouldn't have it any other way. Please welcome Tanya McLaughlin. Thank you, Leslie, and good morning, professionals you trust. Um, as she mentioned, my name is Tanya McLaughlin. I'm an insurance advisor, insurance agent, risk management specialist, and owner of McLaughlin and Associates of American Family Insurance. And I'm here today to talk to you um, and give you a little bit of an introduction as to what my agency, McLaughlin and Associates, does as far as offering insurance. Um, one thing about American Family Insurance, they're an absolutely wonderful parent company that I have partnered with. I've been behind the scenes at corporate, I've been in the field for a number of years, and I've actually worked with coaching, training, hiring, onboarding, other agents like myself throughout Washington State. And what I've learned is that not only does American Family have very unique product offerings, but they also have the services and support to back it up. In addition to partnering me with a company outside of American Family in order to find the best product for my customer. I like to call them the glue. They're what allow me to truly be a one-stop shop in everything but health insurance. So very quick introduction to the spread of products we offer. Um, it's very well understood that we provide auto and home. A lot of our competitors do, and that's the majority of the market is when you buy a car, you need auto insurance. When you buy a home, you need home insurance. There's a lot more to it than that. A lot of people now have been adapting the way they do it, not just with typical snowmobiles and toys, but maybe living in their car, their van, their fifth wheel to travel the country, and that's their primary residence. That's the kind of adaptation that we can insure properly without it breaking the bank. Um, same thing with homeowners insurance. It's not just home product or condo or manufactured home, but we also offer solutions for earthquake and flood right inside the home policy. Not a lot of companies do that. We talked about umbrella when I was here last time that goes over the top and that takes care of your personal portfolio. But even more importantly, I as an agency step outside of that and offer business insurance. It's something that I personally specialize in working with other business owners like myself. Um, finally, the unsung hero of our insurance portfolio, life insurance, is what we're going to touch on today. Life insurance is a very charged word. So when we talk about life insurance, we've got to start with the myths that are out there. There is a lot of life insurance information. I'm sure when I say life insurance, it brings up something different for each of us. So what I'd like to spend a little time on today is touching on a couple of those things and explaining a bit more. So first thing I hear of when we talk about life insurance is that is overwhelming. It's the number one thing I hear because you're right. It's an uncomfortable conversation. And I know you guys have heard me say before that that is where I think the conversation needs to start is having the hard conversation, finding a solution for that thing that's giving us underlying fear every day, taking care of it so that you can move on with accomplishing your dreams and the big things that you're planning for in your life. Aside from the conversation, the product itself, 
don't get me wrong. There are umpteen different life insurance policies out there. They all come with their different uh, levels of coverage and riders that come inside the policy. If you're presented with all of those at once, it can be overwhelming. But truthfully, you should have someone to walk you through the process. If anyone is showing you a life quote or a life option and they have not asked you questions first about what you need, do not look at that policy. Because here's the one thing you need to know about life insurance and why it's not overwhelming. We talked about auto and home that everyone interacts with. Those policies come with 10 to 20 different coverage pieces inside of it. That if this happens, then this. Life insurance is the most simple product that's out there. It's if you pass away tomorrow, this check goes to your family. It's quick, it's tax-free, and that's all there is to it. So life insurance is the most simple life insurance product that's out there. Don't let people overwhelm you with options. Second, it's one size fits all. This is where you'll hear me get a little heated, but it's risky thinking when you're talking about protecting your life's efforts. I know everyone in this group, we are elite level professionals. We pour our heart and soul to what we do. And I'm sure we do the same at home with our families. Why risk all of that? by not planning for life insurance. Because with life insurance, it's different than auto and home and everything else that protects your stuff. And we put a lot of time and effort into figuring out how to adequately protect our stuff, but we don't put that same time and effort into figuring out how to protect ourselves. Because if you were gone tomorrow, what does that look like for the people that live with you and the people that love you and the people that count on you? That's the conversation that should happen now. And what I mean by one size fits all is if I were to talk to the people in this group, the amount you owe on your mortgage is different. The amount you make each year is different. The amount of years you want that income replaced is different. And the age you plan on retiring, it's all different. And all of that adds up to a different actual number, let alone the type of policy that's going to accomplish that for you. So one size does definitely not fit all. Life insurance is two phases. That's really what you need to know. Simply put, there's the high coverage phase and the low coverage phase. The high coverage phase is when you owe on your mortgage. You're making the most amount of money. You've got the most number of people in your family that are counting on you, kids or otherwise. The low coverage phase is maybe after you retire and those things are paid off, you don't have as high of an expense load, and that change needs to happen at some point. So that's where the conversation starts with life insurance, not term, perm, flexible, universal, guaranteed. You shouldn't be getting into any of that until you talk about those two phases. Next, it's expensive. Don't get me wrong. Not wanting to have the life insurance conversation in the first place means that spending even $1 on life insurance is too expensive in some people that I talk with. Also, it's usually covered in a work benefit, which I will never discourage. If your workplace provides you with a group life insurance policy, please purchase it. This is me officially going on record and telling you to do that because they have access to a lower rate and can give you coverage that's usually free of charge or very little charge to you as the employee. Here's the takeaway though. Make sure that that's not the only policy you own. Because you'll hear a lot of people talk about, well, something's better than nothing. I'm gonna add a caveat to that. Having something you own is better than nothing because you guys don't own that life insurance policy. The company does. So if you switch jobs, it's gone. When you retire after working them for 30 to 40 years, it's gone. And it leaves you shopping for life insurance in the very last time and place that you need to be doing so. What people don't realize is life insurance gets expensive only if you're shopping for it when you absolutely need it. So this is, you've worked for the company, you go to retire, you're in your 60s, and whether you're in good health or you have a few things going on, it's going to be pricey to get into that product if possible at all, because that's what people run into. Even once you get into your 40s and 50s, some options start going away. It doesn't matter what quality of health you have. So truthfully, the time to look at life insurance really is now, because every year that we get older, the rate goes up. And having a policy now 
means that you can pay it off and not have to even make some of those payments in the future. At a minimum, I've run the numbers with all of my customers, you'll save a minimum of $60,000 over time just by paying on the policy now versus later, okay? So number one takeaway, pay a little now to get a lot later rather than paying a lot now to get a little later, okay? Finally, have that conversation, whether it's with me, your current agent, make sure that you have someone ask you the right questions, learn about you, and then present the one policy that they've crafted for you. Because making those choices now means that you have that freedom and security to just live your life later. And if something happens, just call up your agent. You'll have a lot on your plate, but I guarantee you, you'll be able to dispatch them or me in order to get that taken care of for you. So finally, if you'd like some help with this or anything else, please contact your local licensed insurance advisors at McLaughlin and Associates of American Family Insurance. We are your insurance team and we're looking forward to talking with you. Thank you.